we have been adopted and accepted in him. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4 through 6. Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glory, by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Paul, in his epistle to the Ephesians, is unveiling to us the amazing truth, the amazing realities of who we are in Christ. And we have been spending some time over the past week, and we're continuing it this week, on just trying to recognize uh, some of these spiritual realities of who we are in Christ. In these verses in Ephesians chapter 1, Paul tells us that we have been chosen in Christ, even before the foundation of the world. So can you imagine this? In the mind of God, God saw through time, even before he began creation, and in Christ, he chose us. He identified us. He said, these people, they are the ones who are going to respond to, uh, to the message, and they are the ones who are going to be in Christ. He has chosen us in him. And then he tells us here that we were adopted uh, in Christ, as uh, we were uh, his adopted in Christ, and he tells us we have been accepted in the beloved. So here's what I want us to understand that in Christ, we are adopted and accepted. We've emphasized the truth that we are born of God, we are part of His family, and as being adopted means He's, he's made us part of His own family as sons and daughters. And because we are adopted, He says here, we, uh, we have been chosen in Christ to be holy and without blame, and we are accepted in the beloved. You are adopted into the family of God and you are accepted in the beloved. Now that is very important, feeling accepted by God. See, many people struggle with that. Many people feel like, you know, God doesn't really care about me. God doesn't value me. Uh, you know, I don't have any right to be in the presence of God. Uh, so when they pray, they pray prayers like very far away, distant kinds of prayers. They don't feel that God welcomes them into his presence. But Paul is telling us here that because we are chosen in him, we have been adopted in him, we are also accepted in him. There is total acceptance. God has accepted you in Christ. So you can go boldly to the throne of grace. You can come into his presence knowing you're welcome there. He, is, he delights in you coming to Him, approaching Him, talking to Him, communing with Him. You are accepted in the beloved. You are more than welcome in the family of God. You are more than welcome in the presence of God. Live as somebody who has been adopted and accepted by God Almighty. That's who you are in Him. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for unveiling these truths to us of who we are in Him, in Christ. And help us to embrace these truths and help us to live out of that in our walk with You, in our daily lives, and how we go about our everyday life. Help us to live out of who we are in Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.